Hello and welcome to episode 30 of my Working with Evernote series. In this, ep <clears throat> in this episode, I want to show you the benefits of using 3D Touch with Evernote on an iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, 7 or 7S, 7 Plus. Okay, so what is 3D Touch? Well, basically 3D Touch is when you actually push down on an application and it will give you a submenu of options, i.e. basically giving you a, a quick entry method of getting into an application. Now, one of my biggest criticisms of Evernote in the past is how too, there are too many steps involved in order to get a note into Evernote. This has meant in the past that I've used uh, third-party applications such as Drafts to get into a note that uh, to get a note into Evernote much quicker. So what I mean by this is if I clicked onto Evernote, it opens up in this window, and then I go into I choose my select. So that's is I two ticks or two clicks already to get into adding a new note. Actually, it's three clicks because I need to click on the application, then click on Add New Note, and then I can start typing. Okay, so that's one of my biggest criticisms of Evernote. It's supposed to be a note-taking application and you need to be able to quickly add notes. And yeah, this is pretty quick and if I've got time, I will use it this way. However, 3D Touch makes this much faster. What I basically have to do is 3D Touch, force touch on the screen, click on add new note, bang, I'm straight in and I can add a new note. To me, that saves so much time. And over the course of this week, I have found myself using drafts less and less to add new notes and using 3D Touch to get straight into it. Now, the other thing that you can do with 3D Touch is also take a photo. So if I click on take a photo, I can go down, find my uh, Aston Martin DB5 and click on that. Um, sorry, I'm going blind here. I need to click on that. There we go. Take the picture, uh, give it a few seconds to add, done. I can click on save. That's going to save my picture in there. And sure enough, that note has now come in. So this is super, super fast. Now, of course, it helps with Apple's chips and the iPhone 7 is a blazingly fast phone. But now 3D Touch, working with all that new technology that comes with the iPhone 7, has really, really helped to speed up adding new notes into Evernote. So if you're not using 3D Touch and you have 3D Touch on your phone, I strongly recommend that you give it a go. Get into the habit of using it. It is super fast. And usually when we are out on the bout and we're running around between places, we're between buses or getting between trains, you know, having something that can quickly capture like this is fantastic. So there you go. That's 3D Touch on Evernote, a super, super way of capturing notes into Evernote. Uh, I do fear now that drafts will only be used for adding to specific uh, notes that I have in future because now I think I've found my ideal way of capturing quick notes when I am on the run. Okay, that's it for episode 30. I hope you found it useful. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want the latest videos I do on Evernote or indeed Todoist. And I just wish you all a very, very productive week and I'll see you in the next episode.